quickly. I mean, um, the first tool to discuss is the regular sickle as contained in an incident. So go ahead and open your copy. I'll put a picture here. Alright, this sickle, every, this is not a weapon. This actually, I mean, it can be used as a weapon, but uh, as, obviously, right? And we all know that, you know, the use of a, of a sickle is common. It's not a ninja weapon, it's just a weapon. We also know that it's a tool, it's an implement. And specifically what we're talking about here is using it to break in. Now, uh, the first one that is contained is, uh, people often think, okay, well, this tool is used for what? You know, they think it's used for cutting. Actually, this tool, this is the actual saw. This one, you see, it has a serrated edge. It's a saw. That one is used for cutting. Uh, also, later on in the you know, you find different types of saws. You know, the saw, the saw, a saw is two-sided. You know, um, this, uh, this is a variation of the sickle, which is a saw, a saw version of the sickle. The actual sickle when used for breaking in, everybody's always coming up with ways of like cutting or it's nothing like that. When breaking in with a sickle it is actually a puncture weapon. It is literally something, think of an ice pick. It is literally in that same kind of way. A lot of the walls were made of a material, I won't go into this, but it's a material that can literally be chiseled through. Okay? The drill is used for boring through, like for example, boring through wood. The sickle is used for chiseling through this particular kind of, I don't even know what term to use, kind of uh, like an adobe. Uh, hard to, I don't know the English word for it, okay? But um, yeah, everyone's always thinking, oh, the kunai is for chiseling through. It's not. It, the sickle is actually, and it's not a large sickle. Look at the dimensions. It's actually small. It's more of an ice pick than uh, a chopping weapon. So this sickle is actually, historically, this is actually more like a pick. And then the version that has a, the serrated edge, that's a saw. So you can saw, uh, and then without the blade, it's a pick. So it's not meant to cut, it's meant to literally like pick, 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 pick. You chisel away, like kind of like a, like a jackhammer chisels away at concrete the this is pick 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 through the through the wall okay not the drill the drill which looks like the pick that's actually that is for going through wood for going through the sort of ah, masonry is not the right word but uh um anyway this is for going through that picking through that all right actually let me make a correction you can use the drill the the sort of uh the drill for Latin, so they flip that page. It looks like a pick. You could use that to bore through more than just wood, in all true reality. But what I'm trying to get across here is that is meant to produce a small puncture, like a small, clean, circular hole to see through, to put a tool through, to pass a line through, to drop something, you know, whatever. Um, the, the sickle is meant to actually chisel a, a substantial hole. Let's say you have a, a wall and, you know, you want to put an actual hole in the wall, like a fist sized hole in the wall. So with that what you would the sickle you ice pick away so to speak. Like uh you know, like you're trying to get through a door. You know, you want to get your tool through the door to the other side. You would want that little thing to put a little hole in the in the door and search your tool through. Because what you don't want is put a big hole in the door because then later when you're inside and maybe somebody walks by, they may not notice a little hole. But they're going to notice a, you know what I mean, they'll notice a big hole in the door. So, yeah. But the sickle is for, you know, chiseling a huge hole. So that, that's for like if there's like a, like a outside wall or something. Um, I also, what I also want to discuss in this video is the, the, uh, the occurrence and the absence of the machete and the chicken. <laughs> and uh yeah, if you look in the Nintendo you'll see it. It's essentially like a big square blade and it is and, and Anthony translated it as a machete and in application it is essentially the same thing as a machete. You can use it as a weapon or you can uh, obviously or you know you can use it to chop through whatever, through bushes, 
through uh, weak bars, through whatever. I mean, it is an all-purpose hacking slash. You'll notice that it appears in older Shinobi manuals, like it, it, the concept of Sengoku Gary Shinobi. It disappears. It falls out of usage. It goes away with Edo period Shinobi. Because Shinobi go from being more like battlefield scouts to being like private investigators. Okay? Uh, no need for a huge machete when you're doing like private investigation in the Edo period. That's why it goes away. Compare the Ninpi Den's tools to the Bansen Jukai tools. And even though they're really close in time, you can already see the, the Ninpiden favors, you know, these like more crude battlefield tools. And the uh, Bansenjukai, the Dubayashi Sensei favors really like uh, delicate tools. The lock picking tools are, they're not, they, they have no combat application whatsoever. They're truly carpenter tools and they are truly, you know, like lock picking tools. They are not uh, uh, tools that can be used to break in but also be used to fight, like sickles and machetes. You know? So this is important to know. Sort of uh, the uh, shift in the usage of shinobi manifested in the in the change of the tools that they are using.